this tutorial looks at the idea of how we can simulate gravity in our programs. I've put here the background of a graph with our x and y axes. If we imagine dead center of the screen, x and y are z both zero. So if we go upwards of here, where our cat is at the moment, we're going up in a positive value on the y-axis, but down negative value in the x-axis. If I move the cat down here, I can look at the x and y position, that we're in negative territory in the y, sort of negative 103, but positive in the x-axis, positive 179. So if I place the cat up here, I want the idea that the cat's going to fall and stop as soon as it hits the green object. So let's first of all get a trigger. Uh, let's say when, when the game starts, when play is clicked. I want this to run continuously, so I'm going to go for a forever loop. Then go down here to the motion blocks and change Y by 10. But obviously I want y to decrease, or the cat to move down the y-axis. So let's change it to a negative value, and maybe a smaller value, otherwise it's going to be too quick. So let's maybe change it to negative 3. Now when we press play, let's see what happens. Oh, the cat has fallen straight through the object. So it's done what we asked, it's gone continuously, and it's moved the cat downwards along the y-axis. So I've placed the cat up here again and go over to our code. Maybe the forever loop's not what we need. So let's take that out and delete it by just clicking and dragging let go over some other code and it's gone. So let's look at the other control blocks. And when I look down here I can see repeat until. Repeat is another way of saying forever but until puts a stopping condition in. So repeat until something occurs. If I go to sensing, I can look, ooh, touch and colour. Repeat until this cat touches, click that little icon, and then click on the green. And what am I going to repeat? I'm going to move the cat down the y-axis until the cat touches that particular shade of green. Let's try it again. Press play. And now we've got that idea that the cat has some gravity. As soon as it hits an object of a particular colour here, the cat stops moving down the y-axis, as if the cat's on a solid object. Now try it yourself. Maybe uh, get the cat uh, jumping by pressing the up arrow and then coming back down again and stopping once it hits the ground. Or moving left and right arrows as your triggers to get the cat to move left and right along the x-axis. Just experiment, see what you come up with.